I've made videos in the past about eXp Realty covering topics such as the fees, the revenue streams, the pros and cons, but I've never made a video about why I actually decided to even join eXp Realty in the first place. So I wanted to give you the behind the scenes of what prompted the decision in the first place, but also it's gonna give you an insight into my business plan. And having this type of information may help you in your decision as well. You may be thinking about joining eXp or heck, you might be already in eXp and may be thinking about leaving it. So I think that there's enough information here that's gonna help you one way or the other. Now be sure to stay to the end where I give you the biggest reason that I decided to make the move and it's one that 90% of the agents don't even think about. Hey, it's Jaime, if you're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so let's start off with a little bit of background. Prior to joining eXp, I was at a flat fee brokerage where I paid $200 a month, regardless if I made any sales or I made a ton. It didn't matter, it was $200 flat. Now this was the only brokerage that I knew because there was only one brokerage that I was with prior to eXp and it was the right fit for me. There wasn't any hovering, there wasn't any micromanaging, it was just a flat fee and you're on your own. Now I officially joined eXp Realty in the fall of 2019, however, I had heard about eXp about a year prior, but at that time I had so many different things going on. I had a business brokerage, I had a property management company, I was a part owner in a boba tea shop, and there's just a lot of different things that I was getting into at that time at a grand scale. So at that time I was starting my online marketing business to help real estate agents and also I was doing real estating, so helping buyers buy and helping sellers sell. So I had a lot of things going on and that was keeping me busy. However, I just didn't wanna rock the boat. It really wasn't the time for me to consider making the move whenever I first heard about eXp. And truth be told, my original plan was to open up my own brokerage. So with the brokers that I was with, I was gaining the experience that I needed from policies and procedures standpoint, from operating and scaling. So I was getting everything that I needed formation wise from my brokerage before I went out and started my own. But as I really dug into the requirements of becoming a broker and opening up my own brokerage, I realized that it was gonna take me a couple of years in order to do that. Most importantly, because there is a time requirement from the moment that you become licensed to when you are legally able to open up your own brokerage and become a broker. So I understood that time wasn't on my side, so I had to sit down and really identify what I wanted to do with my real estate career. And basically it came down to three realizations or three primary reasons that made me look at eXp Realty a little bit closer and ultimately solidified my decision of joining the brokerage. And the first primary reason was that eXp Realty was a ready built network. I could join the brokerage and instantly start growing my business however I wanted. The infrastructure was already there and I could start building out my team immediately and I had a decision to make. I could operate a traditional team where I would take part of the agent's commission or I could decide to just participate in the revenue share component, which I'll get to here in a couple of minutes. Now, ultimately, I decided against the traditional team model where I take an additional commission split from the agent in addition to what the broker's already taking, and I'm okay with that. But even more than the ability to grow up my team quickly, I saw where the real estate industry was going, and that was virtual. A lot of brokers are starting to do as much paperless as possible, and eXp Realty built its business on everything being virtual, everything being on the cloud. So not only was the cloud already in place, but there was a full-time staff behind it. That means that there's hundreds of staffers ready to help real estate agents. So I knew that the operations didn't only fall on my shoulders. So as I looked at the platform and looked at the infrastructure and all of the staff behind eXp already, along with the partners that were already in place, it just didn't make sense for me to try and build my own brokerage and have to compete against it. So I had to be a realist and really decide if I could compete against eXp or if I could provide a better product than eXp. And in the heart of hearts, I'd like to think that I could, but it would be incredibly hard to do and it certainly wouldn't have been a 10 year plan. So 
it just made sense to join. Now again, there was a huge power in the ready-built network that EXP already had. So for me, it was just a plug and play. I could instantly start growing my business incredibly quickly. But in addition to that, the second primary reason that I decided to join EXP Realty was because of the revenue streams available to me. Multiple revenue streams was extremely important to me because since I was 24, I've been accustomed to making six figures, including seven figures, take home, but that was just one revenue stream. And I was always uneasy of what would happen if that came to an end. So when I started my own businesses in 2017, I immediately started putting in place multiple revenue streams. So by the time the decision to join EXP became a reality, or one that I was seriously considering, I immediately looked at the additional revenue streams that I could add on to the ones that I already built. Because at that time when I did join EXP, it was the fall of 2019 and YouTube AdSense was starting to become a thing. I had money from courses coming in. I had affiliate money. I had money from doing the services of lead generation for other agents. So I had multiple revenue streams that I was already tapping into. But when I looked at the EXP model a little bit closer, I found that I could instantly add two additional revenue streams to what I was already doing. And those two additional revenue streams were the stock and the revenue share program. For me, the real estate agent part, which was the commission where I help buyers buy and help sellers sell, I was actually taking a hit on changing from my flat fee brokerage where I was paying $200 a month and keeping 100% of the commission. I was trading that in to go to an 80-20 split but the other two stock and revenue share programs diffuse that concern altogether. Because I knew that there was five ways to earn stock at eXp. We don't have time to get into that right now, so I'll just flash the five different ways to earn stock on the screen right now. But I knew that the stock awards were gonna continue to grow, and hopefully the stock was actually gonna start growing in price as well. And thankfully it has, because if I were to sell all of the stock that I have, that I earned through eXp doing what I already do, if I were to sell that, then I would be making more than if I had made that same production over in the flat fee shop. And the other revenue stream that I was really excited about was the revenue share program, which means that if I sponsor an agent at eXp, I receive a portion of the commission earned. Now this portion of the commission earned is actually not from the real estate agent side. The split at eXp is 80-20. 80% for the agent, 20% from the brokerage. It's from the 20% that I received the revenue share split. Now keep in mind, I was already helping real estate agents from all across the country with their real estate lead generation. Now, the issue was that a lot of agents could not afford my services. However, under the EXP model, I was able to offer the services that I and my agency do, which is real estate lead generation. I was able to offer that to those same agents, but for free. That's right, all of the agents that partner with me at eXp have the benefit of leveraging me and my services for free. That means that their real estate lead generation problems are over. So if you're a real estate agent that's seriously considering eXp, then I invite you to go down to the description and check out the additional details. And the reason that I'm able to do this and help real estate agents in that way is because of the revenue share program, which means that all of the agents that I sponsor, I receive 3.5 commission off of the commission earned because the more the agent produces, so the more that agents are successful at eXp, the more successful that I am. And also keep in mind that the revenue share program goes seven levels deep. So this means that as agents sponsor agents seven levels deep, I get to participate in the revenue share program as well. So it grows exponentially. So it's really this program that sets the stage for the exit strategy, which is the biggest reason that I decided to join eXp Realty, the exit strategy. Most real estate agents don't think about this part of their business, their exit strategy. What are they gonna do when they are no longer able to sell houses? 
how are they going to retire? A lot of agents don't take this into consideration. They just focus on the year's production. Now for me, remember, I was looking to open up my own brokerage, which comes with an additional startup cost. So I had to invest upfront and then I had to grind in the middle of it. So trying to grow the business and compete against the EXPs of the world, the Remaxes of the world, the Keller Williams of the world and everybody else. So I'm really having to grind and bring on as many agents as I possibly could. And then I had to worry about the exit strategy. And it was really at the exit strategy that my eyes were wide opened. When I had my own business brokerage where I helped business owners sell their business and help them buy businesses, I remember how difficult it was to actually exit those businesses, especially this type of business, the real estate business. Real estate brokerages were incredibly difficult to price. You had to take into consideration the market conditions. You had to take into consideration the agent's commission splits, and you had to take into consideration the seller's discretionary earnings, AKA how much take home the broker was receiving. So having seen a lot of exits from business owners, I saw that the exits weren't all that lucrative a majority of the time, especially in the real estate business. But with eXp, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna have a ton of stock, I'm gonna have a large revenue share organization, so that means that there's a lot of passive income that's gonna come my way, and the best part of it, which gets to the exit strategy, it's willable. This means that I'm able to pass whatever I'm earning in revenue share to my family. They don't even have to lift a finger. The revenue share will continue coming in a passive way. Now, in all fairness, if I had my own brokerage, I could pass that on to my family, but they would really have to work for it because they would be business owners as well. And we know that a majority of the second generational family businesses just don't make it. So the fact that the revenue share is willable to my family is incredibly comforting because again, they don't have to work for it, AKA they don't have an opportunity to screw it up. But anyway, those were the top reasons that I decided to join eXp Realty. If you're interested in more information or would like to see what your business would look like in real numbers, then feel free to reach out. And remember, if you want a partner to have your real estate lead generation done for free, then there's gonna be details down below. Well, now that you know the reasons that I decided to make eXp Realty my new home, you might be interested in learning all of the revenue streams available to you at eXp. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make your best day yet.